Well, good morning, adventurers. Can you is that what you guys expected to see in there? <laughs> Can you believe this? Our engine work is uh, officially underway. There is n nothing left here except sheer just chaos. sheer chaos. So it may look a little scary right now, but we assure you, this is exactly what we were hoping to see. It is actually a sight for sore eyes because that means our old nasty engine is gone for good. Yeah. And pretty soon it's gonna look as pretty as me in here. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> <laughs> but not right now, because I'm very sweaty. It's hot out here, y'all. All right, let's go get this engine rebuilt. Bye. Bye. That's right, you guys. The time has come. We are finally rebuilding the engine on this RV. That wasn't a gunshot. That was a, a door of a truck slamming down. <laughs> but if you guys caught one of our previous videos, we schlepped the RV up to Chicago, barely made the trip. Schlepped is a good word. It yes. barely made it. <laughs> yeah, but that's because we actually found a mechanic who can do all the work on the RV that we need done in one single shop. That's where the RV is right now. So today we are going to show you guys the progress so far, basically take you through the whole process of rebuilding this engine, rebuilding all the different parts. We're gonna explain to you everything that's gonna get worked on, all that good stuff. We'll make other people explain to you probably actually because there's yeah. a lot going on and Eric knows most of it but uh we'll leave it up to the professionals but you guys have had a lot of questions about what we're doing what we're getting done what we're replacing what we're fixing mm -hmm. it'll all be answered today for this video we are partnering with engine tech right there engine tech <laughs> These guys are actually really awesome. They've been working with us to help figure out the things we need to fix on the RV, help us find the right mechanic. And they actually offer engine rebuild kits. So their parts are gonna be in the rebuilt engine that we're gonna have installed in the RV. But they offer domestic parts, but also import, high performance, agricultural parts. They also have nationwide distribution points, so they are all over the country. And of course, you can learn more about them at their website, enginetech.com. They really are awesome people. They've been so nice helping us through this process. Yeah, we've been chatting with these guys for a long time and we are so excited to finally be here, finally getting the engine rebuilt, finally putting their pieces to work. All right, enough chit chat. Let's go check the progress so far. We are back here with Matt. If you remember, we dropped the vehicle off with him some time ago, and he had quite a daunting task. <laughs> oh yeah. And look what he has done. Look what he did. <laughs> he is well underway. But we figure he's gonna do a much better job of explaining what we're gonna do to this RV, to this monstrosity here, and uh, what needs to be replaced, what's gonna be updated, all that good stuff. Take it away, my friend. <laughs> yep, so pretty much we're gonna be doing every aspect of the vehicle. Doing the motor mounts, we're gonna be doing all new brake lines, fuel lines, all suspension components, power washing the engine bay, undercoating the frame rails, redynamating the doghouse area, and pretty much just cleaning up the whole bay and making it look that we actually put a brand new engine and transmission oh, yeah. in this thing. That way we can be proud to open up the engine and show this thing off because we haven't been proud up till now. <laughs> but he assured me this thing is going to be purring like a kitten after all this work is done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me give you guys a closer look at this chaos. So you can see that some of this stuff is a bit rusted out. So some of these components are going to end up being replaced. Plus they're kind of damaged. Some of the rust on the frame is just going to be kind of cleaned up and they're going to be painting some of this, rubberizing some of it. Um, I'm kind of leaving it up to them to figure all that stuff out. But the main thing is there's a bunch of kind of rusted lines, fuel lines, old hoses, uh, bushings, and all that stuff is gonna end up being replaced. A lot of you guys were asking about the radiator. Yes, that is being completely replaced. Cause as you guys know, that's probably the main reason why it was overheating. There was a leak in the radiator, which uh, once we got it here, we actually inspected it and found four different spots, three or four different spots where the fluid was just leaking out the bottom. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Not having an engine in here. Whoop. Eric is loving all of this though. Yeah, this is actually super fascinating for me, you guys. This is something I wanted to show you. This is the motor mount. So these two guys here are what hold the motor in place. This is how they had the motor held in place. <laughs> this is not normal. This is not what you want to see. So basically this had busted at some point and the guys just put a chain in here and this is what has been holding this motor on. Can you believe that? <laughs> this is what we were driving around with. <laughs> yeah, we had no idea and I'm yeah. glad we didn't. And I mean, when we bought the RV, this is something I didn't even think to look for, how they mounted the motor on the inside, so. You look like you're in an abandoned building that was like blown up. Yeah, it looks like pure chaos, yeah. you guys, but eventually it's gonna look beautiful. You guys, this is what Matt's working on today. Check that out. What is this? Yeah. 74 Cadillac Eldorado. 
Very nice. I think it's about as long as our RV. Yeah, yeah. 26, <laughs> 26 feet long. Really? really? Wow. Okay, so yeah, exactly. It is a very sharp looking vehicle. <laughs> our new engine is coming along nicely, you guys. Check this out. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So these covers are from the old engine, so they painted them red at my request and popped them back on there. Man, this thing is looking sharp. One of the biggest surprises that Matt found was with these right here on the old engine, the exhaust manifolds. He was going to reuse the old ones, but that was a big problem. This is one of the old exhaust manifolds. The problem is, it is cracked right there. Basically all the way around, and that is no good. So apparently this thing has gotten very, very hot at some point in time, or maybe all the time, I don't know. But I'm glad these are getting replaced with these. Look at the difference, you guys. So much better, right? So you might be wondering where our old engine is, and it is actually in another shop with our good friend Dale, who actually is the one who rebuilt this engine for us. So I think we're gonna head over there and uh, he's gonna let us take a peek inside of that old gown, see what was going on. So I guess we'll see you there. <laughs> Put your gloves okay, on. Okay, okay. <laughs> now we'll get a feel of it before yeah, yeah. we let you actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We made it to Windy City Engineering. We have met up with Dale, and uh, <laughs> he gave us a little tour. And we are about to crack into our old engine. Believe it yeah. or not, this is her. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> Getting all prepared, you know, safety first. And children. I'm gonna stay safely behind the camera and let Allison do <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, Eric was like, "Oh, Allison would love to take this apart, and I will watch." All right, so this is what you wanted. It's like this. Okay. <laughs> Till it comes out. All right. 16 times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little much, it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hair, it's black. Mm -hmm. That is showing me that your head gasket was starting to blow. Oh shoot! Yes, probably due to all the overheating all the way here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa. So here's one problem. This is the what is this? Oil again? pump screen. Oil pump screen. That's supposed to be attached like that and welded on there. But that was just kind of free floating. All right. So we just uncovered our timing chain. I just learned this. Uh, it's this little thing that goes around here and it's super loose and we were informed that this should not be happening So this guy is getting all out of time and they were losing a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah So this should be super taut. Yeah, and uh, this was, move it. there's a case that goes on here And it was actually hitting the case and you can see some wear so you can see different spots where it was actually hitting the little case that goes around it So that is no good one of many issues <laughs> I'm very glad that we're like fixing all this, but it's so scary that we had no idea this was all happening. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Get out of there, guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just knocking out the pistons. Yeah. So bad. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you very much. We'll that was super cool. Okay. okay, sounds good. Be careful. Bye. Drive safe. Thank yeah. you guys Bye. so much. That ended up being an incredible experience, you guys. <laughs> We're just so fascinated by the inner workings of these uh, engines. Oh, it's so much fun. I've ne never have I thought about an engine or seeing the inside of it. And it was so cool. Yeah, you took apart an engine. I know, I took apart an nice engine. Job. Look at me. Yeah. Now I just gotta but, figure out how to get a oil out of the, my overalls. Yeah. <laughs> but Engine Tech supplies a ton of parts for them. So they'll take apart an engine and then all the stuff like the pistons and all these different bushings and rings and all that stuff, Engine Tech will supply. So they have just rows and rows of boxes of Engine Tech parts in there. So that's part one of this video. We are gonna reconvene in a couple weeks when all the work is done. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be purring like a kitten. I, do I say, I say purring like a kitten all we, the freaking time. We say it all the time, although- I like it, it's fun. Matt said today it should purr, so he's on board with the purring. Yeah. We're in a very industrial part of uh, Chicago right now, so that's why it's really loud. All right, but anyways, we'll see you in part two of this video. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous. You guys get to see it happen like that. For us, it's been weeks. We'll see you there.
right, y'all. Clementine lives once again. And wait till you see how pretty she's looking underneath this old doghouse. So this is our brand new engine. You can see all these beautiful orange components in here. That's actually like the Chevy orange color that we picked out. But everything just looks so sparkling and clean. All these lines are all brand new. The hoses are all new. This is one of the most important changes. Instead of a carburetor, we have an EFI system, which is just electronic fuel injection. That means that you're gonna get better gas mileage. It manages the way the fuel goes into the engine better. The system is a little bit quirky though. It takes a little bit of tuning. So the mechanic literally hooks up their laptop to it and then dials in the different fuel parameters and all kinds of stuff. Since we were in a rush, they didn't get to tune it 100% sadly um, so there's still a little bit of quirks with how you start it whether it's cold or warm um, so eventually we're gonna have to take it into a guy to have him tune it up but other than that this thing purrs like a kitten we took it on a six hour drive from Chicago down here to Missouri and had no problems it has so much more power than it used to have anytime we'd go up a hill it would just start to slow down but now it just holds its speed all the way through the hill yeah, it was actually enjoyable following behind for once yeah because I wasn't <laughs> I was, dropping my speed yeah, all the freaking time I was constantly time. slamming on my brakes <laughs> let's go take a look under the hood Check that out. So much nicer, so much cleaner, so much different than it was before. So Matt and his team ran all these new hoses. They cleaned up all the wiring and put all this protective sheathing around it so it's so much better than it was. You can see that they de-rusted and detailed and painted a bunch of different things in here. And of course we have the new radiator up here, which is great yeah. because you can see it through the grill and the old one was just so freaking ugly. It was awful. I was so sad every time I looked at it. Yeah. But now it's beautiful. And also, you'll notice our coolant isn't boiling. No more boiling coolant, you guys. Yes. So Matt and his team got rid of a lot of surface rust that was left, and then they actually patched a huge rusted out hole that was under our shower. We thought we were gonna have to fix that. Yeah. And they did a much better job oh than I God. probably would have done. Beautiful, beautifully done. And then they rubberized everything under there, the entire undercarriage. So that'll just help keep it protected and nice and pretty for hopefully a very, very long time. No more holes in the floor. <laughs> I guess now that we've talked about all the cool, good stuff, let's talk about the uh, elephant in the room, and that is the damage. <laughs> so if you guys remember, while the RV was in the mechanic's parking lot, a semi-truck pulled in and sideswiped it. So this was the damage. Rip this trim open right here, so there's a nice fat gap here. This is another issue. So he kind of crinkled the aluminum here and marked it all up. So that's a little bit harder to fix. Yeah. Because you'd have to either replace this whole panel, take it off, try to ding it out. But it's hard because it has like the original Leprechaun logo on this one and some other stuff and it goes into our door so to take this panel yeah. off you'd have to take off the door. Not ideal. Not ideal. And then probably the worst of it. Is this right here. <laughs> the overhead sleeping bunk. So he really clipped that sucker and then ripped all the trim off, he punctured a hole in it, and then crinkled the aluminum. That one's pretty sad. That one hurts because we put a lot of TLC into this overhead cab area. We completely rebuilt it, reframed it ourselves, and then obviously we redid all of the trim and everything, and now... And now it's all ripped up. Yeah. yeah. But you know, we fixed one huge problem, which was the engine. Yes. Now we have another huge problem. Big old punctures in the outside. Well, so. this is maybe... No, I don't know. It could be a big problem. I don't know how you fix this stuff, y'all. Yeah. Because again, to replace this panel, it's got the original stripe, you have to take out the window. I mean, there's a lot to do. So until then, we're just gonna tape her up and she's yeah. gonna be a little unsightly. I think that's gonna do it for the engine rebuild adventure. <laughs> at its high points, at its low points. <laughs> Took a lot longer than we thought it was gonna take. Yeah. But we have a completely new engine in there. We've got a new fuel injector. We've got brand new brakes, all kinds of new suspension components, so. Yeah, the transmission was looked at, everything. Alignment, it's all good now. Yeah. So we're trying to stay positive, you guys. So now we're gonna be scrambling over the next couple weeks to get as much done on the interior as possible. It's, it's very, very close, you guys, but there's tons of finishing touches like the trim and hooking up some more electrical stuff, all that stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna get that done, and then we are going to be heading out to Colorado in this thing, living in it. Oh my God. While it's... we're doing the renovation out there. Yeah, it's freaking wild to think that this is now a reliable gal. I feel like we've been putting so much work into this and it just kept not starting, kept having issue after issue. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no more issues and the inside will be beautiful soon and it's all gonna be perfect. It's all gonna be good from here on out. Yeah. You guys know it's not gonna be. No, <laughs> Knowing but... us, we have horrible luck, I guess. At the moment, it's okay. Yeah. All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.